Over there in the Navy. In the middle? Middle, hand up. Carlos Revelo de Telemundo 39, Luca, muy buenas noches. Ha sido realista en estos playoffs, no se acaba hasta que un equipo gane cuatro partidos. ¿Cuál es tu mensaje para la afición y cómo lo ves para lo que sigue? Gracias. Hay que ser positivos y ya está. Muy positivos. Al final es primero a cuatro y hay que ser positivos. Jake here in the fifth row. Jake Fisher with Yahoo Sports. Luke, I know elephant hunting is a big part of your guys' offensive strategy. How does it feel from your perspective to kind of be that on Boston's side of things? And what kind of responsibility do you think you can take to improve in that area moving forward? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, every time they draw it, uh, you basically call a foul. So. Uh, I try to be uh, better, uh, so uh, gotta get better. Middle here. Blake Elliott, 105 through the fan. Luca, just take us through, right here in the middle, just take us through your emotions when you fall out of the game and you see your team trying to fight back into it. I mean, yeah. Uh, we had a good chance, you know, we were close, uh, just didn't get it. I wish I was down there. Any other questions for Luca? We've got Tim right here, first row. <clears throat> Tim McMahon, ESPN. Uh, Luca, what did you think of the whistles that went against you in the fourth quarter? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we couldn't play physical, so. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say nothing, but uh, you know, six foul in the NBA Finals, uh, where I basically I'm like this. Uh, come on, man. Better than that. You know, you, you guys came out uh, cooking in the in the first quarter. I think 25 points to like seven minutes. What happened to make you know to to bog down the offense? What, you know, what what happened uh, to make scoring more difficult there? I think we should just keep playing, uh, you know, uh, with the same energy, you know, keep the same people in. Uh, we were rolling down there, uh, but then they came back. Uh, you know, at some point we were down 21-2 in the fourth quarter, uh, and we came back. So uh, we're going to still believe till the end. Brad Townsend, Dallas Morning News. We know you, you've only fouled out three times in the NBA. Have you ever had four fouls called on you in that short of a span? Sorry? Do you ever recall having four fan, four fouls on you being called in that short of a span? Not really. I don't think it never happened to me. I remember. And what did you guys do right to turn around the game and, and pull off that 20 to 2 rally? Uh, just playing with pace. Uh, they didn't. Uh, we played good defense and then we played with pace. Uh, you know, just driving, kicking, and that's how we got back to the game. Tomer here on the left. Uh, Tomer with Charlie with clutch points. Luca, you mentioned staying positive. I guess against scoring just seems to be a, a big issue for you guys. What outside of just staying positive can you guys do? Are you seeing the process that you want to offensively, or are there more things you need to see out there? I think we got to figure out some things. Uh, you know, we played three times against them now, uh, so we're getting to know them. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think being down 21 in, in third game and then came back, you know, was a really positive thing for us. Dan, you're on the left. Okay. Uh, Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports over here, Luca. Um, I think the number is 156 teams been down 3-0 in a series. Not one has come back yet. Having come so close tonight with that sort of best punch you through, how do you get into the right mindset to be able to get one on the board in game four? Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not over till it's over. So we just got to believe. Uh, uh, like I always say, it's first to four. Uh, we're going to stay together. Uh, we lose together, we win together, so we got to stay together. Eighth row on the left in the back. Luca, Kevin Sherrington, Dallas Morning News. Four years ago, Jerry West had a lot of really nice things to say about you, projected how great he thought you were going to be. I wonder what that meant to you when he said that and what were your thoughts about his passing? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see uh, what he said. Uh, 
I don't know, but you know, he was a legend. Uh, we're all going to miss him. Uh, he's the logo, so uh, he was an amazing player. Uh, I wasn't born yet, uh, but I saw some highlights. He was an amazing player. Hola, Luca. Saber cómo estás y cómo afecta el hecho de que entre este partido y el cuarto sea los dos partidos en los que hay menos tiempo de recuperar. Mañana ya estáis con el media day y pasado jugando otra vez. Eh, sí, bueno, eh, así ha sido todos los playoffs de antes, eh, así que hay que prepararse, descansar mañana y a por el cuarto partido. Bien, bien. Last row, last, last question. Moica, uh, Radio Slovenia. Luka, kako se zdaj izbrati in pripraviti na naslednjo tekmo in pozabiti to, kar se je zdaj zgodilo? Kako nekako držati visoko moralo? Gremo naprej, mislim. Naslednja tekma je najbolj važna, tako da moramo iti tekmo po tekmo. Moramo zmagati štiri, tako da treba se pripraviti. Hvala.